Polish fans, it's Al my pal, and I do videos of polish to see how long it lasts for and how good the formula is. Today, I'm going to be wearing and testing out Deborah Lipman's Gel Lab Pro Dirty Little Secret. It's a grey beige holographic. It's seven free, vegan and cruelty free. And underneath and over the top, I'm going to be using this, which is their Gel Lab Pro base coat and top coat. I'll just open it for you so you can have a look. It claims to last for up to 10 days. You put that on, which is the base coat on the underneath, and that is the top coat to go over the top. That's five free vegan and cruelty free. So I'll go ahead and see how we get on and if it actually lasts for 10 days. I'll see you in a minute. So I'm going in with the first coat of Dirty Little Secret. Oh, it's lovely and sheer. It's just the perfect nude colour and it just reminds me of sand on a beach. It is really, really pretty. The brush is really nice and wide so you can get right into the cuticles without making a mess. I have actually put the base coat on underneath and I waited two minutes for it to dry because that's what it said to do uh, on the packet and on all the packages it does give you the ingredients of what's in the polishes and I'll just give you a couple of them They've got bamboo, rice protein, primrose, evening primrose, green tea extract, and there are some that I can't actually pronounce, so I won't bother. So it's got amazing things in it, and it's going on extremely smoothly and nicely. And I'll just explain what seven free means as well. That means it's free of some of the potential harmful chemicals that are found in nail polishes. They are trying to get rid of the majority of them now uh, as people are waking up to the fact that they are quite harmful. Um, so hopefully soon everyone will be doing the same thing. So that's one coat of Dirty Little Secret. Now I need to wait for two minutes and then I'll put on the next coat and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I waited for two minutes and it's practically dry. So I'm going in with the second coat. It's just so pretty. And um, in the bottle, the holographics look quite silvery and now they're looking gold. It is really, really pretty. Um, does it cover the smile line? It's not too bad, it is sheer. They do say it's sheer, but it is quite good actually. And I'm just gonna explain what cruelty-free and vegan means. Vegan means it's free from animal products and cruelty-free is, it's not tested on animals at all, which is the kind of polish I really, really like. And what I'm going to do is after this, I have to wait another two minutes and I have to put the top coat on and then we're done. Uh, so we'll see. I have actually used another colour on this range and it did last for 10 days. And I was quite shocked. I, I, I'm a bit of a cynic, to be honest. So I am quite surprised that it did. Uh, so we'll see how we go with this one. This colour is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. It's such a nice colour. You could use it for spring and for summer. It's just, oh, and it sort of is a beige, definitely beigey grey. Uh, the, the description is, is definitely on the mark there. I can't describe it any other way. Absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put the top coat on now after waiting for two minutes. And then I'll get back to you hopefully in 10 days time and let you know how I get on. This is two coats taken in natural light. I just wanted to show you what my fingernail looks like before I put the polish on. And I'm hoping it's going to cover all this split. As you can see, I never use this hand as my swatch hand because 
a couple of my nails seem to always split uh, so I'm hoping that it's going to work very well and I'll see you in the next bit and this is it the day after I've applied the polish and as you can see you can't actually see where the nail is split um, is really really quite good okay my thoughts first of all the polish lasted eight days i have used this polish before and the last color lasted just about 10 so it may just be because this had like shimmer in it uh, i don't know but it was pretty good uh, it definitely covered up the split i had in my fingernail it looked really really good and it's so understated as well in the bottle i mean this you can't really tell which is a shame uh because it may put some people off but on the nail oh my goodness it was absolutely glorious it had like a gold shimmer running through it and it caught the sunlight and it was absolutely delicious and also this bottle is square which means it's really hard to spill because some bottles obviously have got a very short, small base and you knock them over, but this, it just stays put. Absolutely brilliant. Definitely use it again. It did give my nails a professional look. So there's nothing else to say. So if you like my video, give me a thumbs up and to see more of my wear and test polish videos, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.